there was a dead possum on the side of the road and there was a baby possum with its poor dead mother. This one looks like it's been here for about a day. There's a little baby possum right here. It must have just come out of the pouch when I pulled up. It must have heard the truck. Oh my God. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing Thursday. Now for today's video, I'm going to be hopping in reverse to yesterday when I was driving down to my buddy's farm, the same friend that we actually caught the giant python with the ticks. And on my way down to his farm, there was a dead possum on the side of the road. It was so sad. And because it's springtime and the possums have babies, I went and looked and there was a baby possum with its poor dead mother so of course we rescued that little possum if you guys want to find out what happened to him where he is now stick along for today's video but before we actually hop into today's video i have to tell all of you guys about an incredible product that i have been using today's video is sponsored by raycon raycon earbuds are absolutely amazing and they actually start out at about half the price of other premium earbud brands one thing i love about these earbuds is they sound just as good as other top brands you know i used to be an apple guy once i tried Raycon earbuds, I knew there was no turning back. Raycon earbuds are great for working out, listening to music, and even hanging out with your pet dinosaur. And these earbuds come in multiple colors for everyone's taste, such as black, blue, rose gold, and red, and they are so incredibly affordable, coming in at just $79.99. The Everyday E25 earbuds is Raycon's newest and best model yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, a more compact design which gives you a total noise isolating fit. Click the link in the description and you will receive 15% off your next order. Guys, I'm on my way down to my buddy's farm, the one that actually had the ginormous python that we pulled off that we got ticks off of and I just found a dead possum in the road and I'm gonna check the possum out. It is springtime here in South Florida and the possums actually have little pouches on their bellies that they have their young in. So a lot of times possums that we find on the side of the road have little babies in them. Here's the possum right here, take a look. Oh my gosh, this one looks like it's been here for about a day, baking in the sun. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh. Guys, oh, there's a little baby possum right here. It must have just come out of the pouch when I pulled up. It must have heard the truck. Oh my God. Guys, we just, oh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. We just found a little baby possum right here. And this is its mother. Its mother got hit by a car. Oh my gosh, you can see that's her little pouch right there. And oh my gosh, let's get to the truck. It's about to rain here. I don't know if you can see the crazy clouds, but it's about to rain here. And we just rescued the little baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have never ever found a baby possum that's like this. I've only found tiny, tiny little babies. This little guy right here is just absolutely adorable, but we're gonna have to make sure that he is not injured. Here you go, little buddy. Here, sit right there, sit right there, buddy. Let me shut the door, let me shut the door right now. Whoa, I have never ever found a baby possum like that. Stop what you're doing and go comment down below what you think of this little possum. I have never ever found one that's this old and he's actually just opening his eyes. So go comment down below how old you think this little guy is. Based on what I know about possums, this little guy is probably about, I don't know, 70, 80 days old. He is so, so cute. And the one thing that's cool about possums is they have fully prehensile tails. So you can see how he's wrapping his tail around my finger. He can actually hang his full body weight by his tail, but this little guy is probably so, so hungry. If you pinch the back of their neck, not hard, but you can see if he's dehydrated and the skin is still sticking up. So I think this little guy is dehydrated. I mean, after all, who knows how long his mom has been there. Guys, go say a little prayer for his mom that's out there in the road. This seems to be the only surviving young of that mom possum, but his little features are just so adorable. His little tiny feet right there just really kill me. I mean, look at his little feet grabbing onto me. Hi, Papa. You are doing just so well. Oh, he has a little sneeze. He could potentially have a little cold. Now, since possums are a native marsupial here in the United States, you need to be a licensed rehabber to actually rehabilitate them and re-release them into the wild. I'm gonna give a call to one of my friends that actually works at a licensed facility. It's called Flamingo Gardens. I'm gonna call her up and see if they can take this little guy. But in the meantime, we're gonna go head to my house and we're gonna get this guy set up in a little box because I don't have anything for him. And hopefully we'll be able to get him to a rehabber to make sure he's okay. 
I'm actually just looking at him right now and he actually has a little bit of mucus coming from his nose. That could be a sign of a respiratory infection. Not good at all. We don't want this little guy to potentially pass away from any sort of a respiratory infection. So we're going to try to get him to the licensed rehabber as soon as we can. But for now, we're going to set this little guy on this pillowcase right here. I have this pillowcase for snakes, but I'm going to set him right here. Make sure he just kind of hangs out here, buddy. Stay on this pillowcase. We're going to go home right now. We're going to get you set up, but just stay right here. We don't want you to fall. So we're going to get him nice and warm up in this little pillowcase and we're going to go head home and get this little possum set up one hour later i just got home with the tiny little baby possum i have him right here i already kind of cracked the front door open okay, we got this little guy right here he's doing well where's my sit hannah yeah oh she's right there she, guys guys she has no idea hannah i found a little animal on the way home i'm not going to show you He's covered up right here. You can't see him. Now, guys, don't worry. He can breathe. Let me show you him. Hannah, what do you think it is? What do you think it is, Hannah? Tell me. Maybe a squirrel? He looks really tiny. No, it's something else. It's not a squirrel. Uh, I have no idea. Look at it. Oh. Where did you get this? I found him on the side of the road. He was just there in the grass. His mom got hit by a car. Look, isn't he cute? Never had a furred one. I know. We've gotten for the nipple. Yeah, this little guy is absolutely starving. He is looking for the nipple right now. Guys, any possum that we've had in the past, someone's dropped it off to us. They've dropped him off and they've been about this big, and literally within 10 minutes of them dropping him off, they've sadly passed away. This guy looks like he's doing absolutely well. Hannah, we gotta get this guy set up and warm. Hannah, we're gonna have to take him to a wildlife rehabber so he can actually, you know, get properly taken care of. He can be re-released into the wild. A lot of times with wild animals, you don't want to imprint on them. You actually don't want them to actually have interaction with human because if they lose their fear of humans, then they cannot be re-released into the wild. We want this little guy to be released into the wild. So we're going to take him up to Flamingo Gardens up in Davie, Florida. But before we take off to actually go drop this little guy off, Hannah, we got to get him set up in a box. You have a little box, a little crate? Yeah, I have a little soft carrier we can set him up in. You have a little soft carrier? Awesome, let's do that. We're actually going to weigh this guy just so the rehabber can know this little guy is 360. Oh, my bad, that's 36. <laughs> We're going to weigh this little guy right here just because we want to make sure that he's got a good weight. He looks to be nice and fat. Now we're going to finally go and get this little guy set up in a crate. We're here in the bathroom now and we've got our crate right here. We set it up with a nice little blanket so this little tiny possum can be in there. Now guys, stop what you're doing and go comment down below a name for this little guy. I want to know what you guys would name this little possum. He is just absolutely adorable, but he is not ready to go to Flamingo Gardens just yet. We actually want to give this little guy a nice little heat bottle so he can actually maintain his body temperature we've got a nice water bottle right here and we're gonna go heat this up inside of the microwave because at this size this little guy actually is gonna have a lot of trouble maintaining his body heat if he doesn't maintain his body heat he could actually catch pneumonia and possibly pass away we don't want that to happen so we're gonna go heat this water bottle up now Okay, we've got our water bottle. It's nice and warm right now. Let me feel it. Okay, yeah, yeah. This water's nice and warm. It's a nice warm water bottle. Hannah, we've got the water bottle. It's nice and warmed up. So here you go. Wait, is the right temperature? Yeah, all we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in this blanket so it's not too hot when he... Lays against it, lays right? Lays against it, yeah. Yeah, so if we have this water bottle completely exposed and this little possum lays against it, he could get really warm. Right now, it's not too bad right there. Oh, you want to sniff me right now? Oh, okay, buddy. Look at you, buddy. You are just an adorable little possum. All right, Hannah, do the honors. Zip them up so we can head off and get this guy to the wildlife rehabber. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. We've got the tiny little possum right here in the carrier, and we are headed up to Fort Lauderdale right now to Flamingo Gardens. It's a great wildlife rehab center. I'm going to drop him off, and I will be sure to keep all of you guys updated on this little guy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of this insane little possum rescue. And if you guys are not subscribed already and you enjoy the content on the channel, well, guess what, guys? Why aren't you subscribed yet? It is the first link down below.